So we are nearing the end of this diamond pattern, as you can see here. Typically, this is a sign of a top, or at least topping process for the market. If you see a move upward followed by a diamond, uh, because typically this is distribution within the diamond pattern, the same can be applied for accumulation. We didn't necessarily have one uh, back here where we bounced off this downward trend line from all time highs, the yellow line right here. Uh, however, if you saw accumulation around a range in a diamond formation, it typically marks a bottoming process before a breakout to the upside. And the inverse would apply for the top if you have an upwards move followed by a diamond. And this one's a pretty extended diamond too. You tend to see a breakdown from it. So it seems that we are within a distribution process and have been for quite a while. It's been over a month now. Pretty hard to believe that we've been within this range. So very extended amount of time. Uh, typically when you see such consolidation, especially on the S&P 500, but also any ticker uh, for that matter, it tends to act as a coiling spring before an eventual move. Of course, it could break out to the upside or go to the downside. It doesn't have to be to the downside. My bias is towards the downside. However, once it breaks in either direction, it tends to have a very pronounced move in that direction because it acted like a coiling spring. The longer amount of time that it stays range bound, uh, the more pressure that builds up for the eventual move. So we've been in this range for a while now. And one of the things that I noticed, at least as of last week, or at least two things that I noticed, if you look over here on Cheddar Flow, we saw a lot of put flow. We've seen put flow here or there, especially throughout this prior consolidation uh, for the past month. We have not seen anything this substantial as what we saw just based on Friday. This isn't even from last week in its entirety. This is only from Friday. We saw a lot of puts a lot of them out the money puts uh, with a lot of premium behind them too. You can see 4.8 million here for the 392 strike. That's quite a bit out the money, especially for a July strike. 2.2 uh, million, 2.3 million. As you can see, just et cetera, et cetera. Even a 4.6 million in premium uh, for the 616 expiration. This one was at the money. Uh, so a lot of puts overall, not characteristic of what we've seen from the past month. Yes, it's been more put heavy than call heavy, but if you filter for over 1 million in premium here on Cheddar Flow for just spy orders hitting the tape it is a hundred percent put flow to zero percent call flow it's only puts and of those orders the majority of them are out the money within like roughly one to three months expiration for millions upon millions of premiums so this is definitely noteworthy typically you see a downward move begin uh, shortly after these hit the tape again when you see this sheer amount of them uh, you can see it put here or there especially from prior weeks. However, with all of this accumulating together, you typically see a down move after that. And also with that, if you look here at the dark pull levels feature, we did see even more premium from last week. We saw 1.5 billion at the 412.25 level. 1.5 billion, nothing too extreme. However, it's still noticeable. And if you see prints like 1.5 billion on a consistent basis, then that tends to be a precursor to a large move. So 1.5 billion just based on Friday. You can see over here on Thursday, uh, we did not have that much. This was about the lowest day of last week, only 833 million. So this not necessarily a important day in the slightest. But then if you go over here to Wednesday, what's interesting about Wednesday is we saw 2.8 billion in premium at the 41093 level. So 2.8 billion, especially once you get close to that roughly 3 billion ish area and above, uh, that's when it's really noticeable and definitely a print that you need to monitor, especially if it's a lot of those prints over a short period of time. So 2.8 billion is substantial. We saw also last week on Tuesday a four. 4.8 billion in premium a signature dark pool print. I can't remember the last time we had a print like that. Uh, probably a lot earlier into the year that we saw something that large, but that's something you see like every so often. It does not happen on a consistent basis. So we've seen a lot of those between the 410 to 415 ish level around the 3 billion plus in premium. So in my opinion, I believe that is a large institution selling within this range. So it seems that the dark pools are pointing towards a form of distribution and also just the chart pattern is showing distribution in this range. Uh, this week is definitely going to be telling. We have expiration on Wednesday as well as OPEX on Friday. Uh, so typically volatility tends to be compressed leading into that expiration time period. And then afterwards, it has an opening where you can see more volatile conditions. So Monday and Tuesday of this week are likely to be held up just because we're leading into that expiration time period. So far, we've seen price hold this 4,100-ish level. This is a demand zone that I have on here. Bounced twice last week off of this range, uh, then continue to the upside based on Friday's close. Also notable, we do have a large supply zone up here. If this were to get tested, especially early this week, likely be a rejection area. Uh, we do have the convergence of the 2018 trend line that I referenced.
referenced in previous videos, as well as this large supply zone that we've seen numerous rejections off of, whether it be all the way back here on May 1st, as well as April 18th, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so this is a large supply zone, and it's been a very difficult level to uh, get above, at least for bulls, uh, just because it's been a lot of sellers around this range, whether it be uh, via the dark pool, we've seen a lot of huge prints up here, as well as it just being a hard rejection spot with a lot of trend lines acting as a resistance. But nevertheless, this is an area that if it were to be reached, especially early this week, likely will prompt uh, some form of a hard rejection. Uh, the area that does have to break, however, for further downside is this 4,100-ish range they have on here, roughly 4,090 to 4,100. If this breaks, then we will have confirmation that this double gap over here fills. Remember the tip I shared last time in the previous video, typically when you see a double gap like this, you will see some form of a fill within one to two weeks max. We are now entering the second week, uh, so I expect this gap to fill here uh, fairly soon. It tends to act as a magnet for price. Uh, so if we did end up continuing up higher to this supply zone, it likely would be a hard rejection spot to eventually fill this gap below. So do watch for that. And also something else to watch for is the VIX as of this week. Uh, we did close slightly above this yellow trend line from over here. This is the one from the 2017 pivot, uh, but still VIX has been relatively compressed lately. Uh, we've seen it attempt to have a few spikes, but then it just always falls back down. We haven't had the two-week confirmation below the yellow trend line. We only had one week. It was not followed by an additional week of confirmation, so it remains in that neutral zone so far. Also, we do have that expiration coming up on Wednesday, like I said earlier in today's video, so I fully expect there to be some form of compression leading up to that date, but then after that, there is an opening for volatility to persist again if it chooses to do so, so do keep that in mind leading into Wednesday. Also, a big deal from last week is we had a breakout for the dollar, as you can see here, based on these two daily candles. Uh, this is a very substantial trend line that we have over here that it broke down below. However, it was able to, as of now, show confirmation back within this previous pattern above the trend line. And if this is followed by confirmation through this week, we're able to hold above, and this wasn't a fake out, which is unlikely at this point, then that will lead to upside all the way back to around that 105-ish area uh, for this acting as a supply zone as it has in the past. You can see hard rejection over here in January, as well as over here, fake break breakout and hard rejection here in March. But so far, it looks promising that we had a breakout back above this trend line. So this was a very important breakout and it's been a long time coming. It's had a few rejections so far, as you can see over here in April, as well as early May, and it finally was able to get back above. So if this week is able to close above this level as well, that shows a lot of confirmation and very likely we end up reaching a higher level around the 105-ish supply zone. And of course, if the dollar ends up having a strong rally again, that can prompt some more weakness in equities, which would eventually hurt the market. So so keep this in mind heading into this week, as well as keep this in mind, the dark pool premium. We've seen a lot of it, especially the last two weeks, typically a characteristic of distribution after an up move, especially in a consolidation period like we're in right now as well as continue to watch the put flow uh, based just on Friday. Again, if you filter for above 1 million in premium, it is 100% puts and a lot of them too. We have not seen a day like this in a long time, especially because based on Friday's price action, we didn't close that far down on the day. Uh, so typically this is indicative of further downside uh, very shortly. So if we continue to see a lot of these orders, especially Monday and Tuesday uh, before volatility can start to pick up again after expiration, then we're looking at a very likely chance of having a break breakdown uh, to the downside where we actually see some form of a down leg. It'd be very welcome to see some form of an extended uh, move, especially because of how range bound we've been uh, so far. But it seems that the whales here, uh, just based on flow, are predicting there will be some form of an extended move because otherwise they would not be buying a lot of these far out the money prints like the 392 strike. That is pretty far out the money, especially compared to the recent prints that we've been looking at. A lot of them typically range between uh, roughly 400 to around at the money, close to like that 410-ish level. Uh, so we'll see what happens this week. Keep in mind expiration as well as OPEX heading into the end of the week, and I will see you guys on Wednesday.